Well, hello everyone, and uh, this is a video that I usually do not make because I like to keep everyone in high spirits, but with everything going on in the world at the moment, it is getting harder and harder to keep those spirits up. I mean, for me, I'm keeping busy making videos and just trying to engage with all of you, but other people that I've noticed that I would like to record with and talk to on the weekends and during the week, I've noticed that isolation and everything that's going on at the moment is really getting to them. And I, I, I don't like that because everyone's focusing on the main part and everyone's ignoring the mental health aspect of it and how actually cripplingly lonely it really is starting to be for some people. Now, some people are lucky enough to have loads of land, nice house and, you know, isolate isolation to them is just normal everyday life. But there's some people, especially who live in flats or condos, shared accommodation, so on and so forth, where they are really confined to a very small space. So what I wanted to start and I encourage all of you to do is, as you can tell by the title, I'm calling this Project Reach Out. Now, Project Reach Out started as a mind child with me and my friends where if they felt like they needed to talk to someone and they couldn't, they could just message me or anyone else in our little group. I mean, you've seen the people I've recorded with, you know, who I'm talking about but um what I encourage all of you to do is for anyone that you're talking to anyone that you're talking to or like to talk to or just like in general as a person send them a message send them a voice message send them a letter send them a short video message of yourself skype them zoom them I don't care just make that person know that they matter because just one message can let that person know that someone actually does care for them because in these trying times i mean don't get me wrong i'm not asking you to message everyone in your message history ever that would be ridiculous a because that's a huge amount of people if you want to do that more power to you and b there's people that I certainly don't talk to anymore and have my reasons for that. But what I'm trying to get at is here, I want you to, after you've finished watching this little bit, you don't even have to listen to my list of people at the end. That's just for the people that want to hear my own list of people that I'm grateful for and I want them to know that, right? But I want you to actually just realise that this is a mental game as well as a physical game going on at the moment. So if you want to, I encourage you, make your own list of people that you find special in your life and you don't necessarily talk to as much as you should. And then reach out to those people and just say, hey, I know we haven't talked for a while, but I just wanted to make sure you're okay and you doing well during the whole well crap show that's going on in the world right now so i implore you share this with them show them why you're reaching out and then encourage them to make their own list because i really do believe that communication is so much more vital now and it's not being used so I just implore you, reach out to special people in your life because just that one message can make their day and make them realise, hey, I'm actually recognised by someone which, yes, I may have not been talking to for a while, but at least someone is thinking of me and that will combat loneliness and just make the world seem a little less shit but anyway you can stop watching now because i'm going to read off the people who are special in my life if you want to i encourage you to share this video with other people 
make your own list and just remember to call it project reach out and just share it back to me that's all i ask because i want to see this spider web of people making videos of who they're grateful for but anyway these are the people that i'm most certainly grateful for now there are a few people higher up on the list just because of certain factors but everyone else they're on a level playing field and i love them all for all individual reasons now as you know i call most of my friends family because family isn't necessarily who you relate for i mean don't get me wrong i love my family right not all of them you know there's history there but who doesn't have history with the family but the family that i know i love but family reaches out i mean i'm gonna go down the list now of people that i adore and i don't necessarily tell them that i do but i want them to hopefully see this and just know that i'm not a complete well moron going down the list starting with the lovely Miss Tonic Gamer. I mean, she's recently been diagnosed with the diabetes and a, she's just a sweetheart and she's got her own channel, so go and check her out. And she's just wonderful. Moving down, you've got Mr. King TR, who is the driest, dirty joke person you'll ever meet, but he's super funny. you got Normal Dread, who's just supportive as all hell. Mr. Simba, who's incredible on F1, and I know I haven't recorded with him yet, but he's a great friend of mine. Mr. Javier Ultra Rodriguez, whose skills precede his age, and he's so funny, and I'm proud that I know him. Moving on down, we've got Mr. Sweden Pro, again, skills far beyond what i'll ever possess but he's funny as hell i adore him and you know i don't talk to him all the time but when i do he's always a pleasure moving on down we've got mr hypercar slash hoopercar well most of you actually know him, know him as daniel because we like to poke at each other's ribs during Una, but you know I know he's going through some rough stuff as we all are at the moment but you know he's a real fantastic friend of mine and I wouldn't trade him for the world. Moving on down we've got Mr Johnny Wanner. I mean I know there's an age gap but friendship doesn't care about age. It's who you know, who you like and he took a chance on me as a random you know a random ass live stream and it's formed into something beautiful and I can't be any more grateful for him. We've got the lovely Miss Scarlett who is an incredible Forza photographer, passionate as all hell and I freaking adore her. She's just incredible. Then you've got the furious Savvy Snail who me and him have been trading blows with one another mostly i've lost but we've been trading blows on the crew too for like since launch nearly two years now and it never gets old he's always a laugh always a pleasure and he's amazing then we have mr cute cuddly swim alan i say cute cuddly swim he's he's damn near an adult now you know he's closer to 20 than he is to 15 and he's just so genuinely kind and i adore him he's just he's what really the human race should aspire because he really is the best out of all of us for just being the most kind-hearted person you'll ever talk to then you've got the epic racer you know i know he's been going through some stuff and i don't talk to him as much as i do but yet again He's a genuinely kind-hearted person. I adore him. Then we've got Miss Baby Blue, one of my, if not the best subscriber I have right now and probably will ever have because she fell into my channel by mistake. She finds me ultra funny. She does stroke my ego a bit, but 
she also serves up some nice comebacks to bring me back down to earth. But again, I adore her. I wouldn't change her for the world. Moving on down, we've got Mr. Romeo, who is funny as all heck again. And all these people I'm mentioning, I really do hold near and dear to my heart. And apologies if I don't get all of you in this list. There are some people that spring more predominantly into mind than others. You know, then we move on to Dog Jr. You know, he is so supportive of like constantly retweeting my videos and, you know, being funny as all hell on chat. He's just a gem of a guy and I wouldn't change him. Same with Dragon's Dystopia, he's ultimately funny. He's a bit naive sometimes and he needs a bit of uh, education in some places, but who, you know, no one knows everything, so why not learn off your friends? Then you got Dreadbot, who I haven't really talked to in a while, and I'll send a message after this video goes live, but, you know, again, wonderful friend. He's a genuinely nice person and wouldn't change him then we've got mr effish jens the belgian waffle who again is one of the most kind-hearted genuine guys you'll ever talk to and you'll be lucky to call him a friend because he's really really that lovely then you've got mr gaming lover again dry sense of humor and just a pleasure as always. Mr. GTL from Mixer and Twitch. He always says hello to me, always makes me feel welcome and he's just genuinely lovely. Moving down, you've got Halo Ghost Pro, who again, he likes to make evil tracks, but even though they're evil tracks, I find myself laughing and giggling through them then we've got hidden attribute again who made me help me make the dakar trailer and he's just a good clean racer then we have got miss phoenix fox who is a pair with mr Zeno, and those two people they're so wonderful to talk to you know Zeno alone himself is a handful but Phoenix just adds that extra little bit of spice into the mix and as a pair you can't beat him you really can't then we've got Mr. PTG Connor Speed 6 who again has his own channel and he took a chance on me let's be real message out the blue and I've grown a real good friendship with him. He's a genuinely nice guy, heart of gold, and I'm proud to know him because he's just that much of a nice guy. Then we have Mr. Sparta, who honestly haven't talked to in a while, but again, lovely guy, won't change him. Then we've got Strom, who, again, yes, has his own problems, but then again, he doesn't let that stop him from living his everyday life. It doesn't stop him from being kind. Moving on to Mr. Tommy Dank guy, I mean, I know we've had problems in the past, and who doesn't? But we've come through those problems you work through them because you realize it's so much harder to hold on to all the garbage rather than just move on now there is two people i have left till last and that's because i hold them a slight bit higher but for separate reasons firstly is mr gerfel one three because this man took a chance on me god going on about three and a half years ago now at the time of recording and he 
I didn't know who I was. That's when I wasn't even going by Metal Gabe. That was going by my old gamer tag. Comment down below if you know what that is. And he is the man responsible for the person I am right now online at least. Because he brought me out of my shell and showed me that it's alright to be who you are. It's alright to embrace what you want to say and to be part of a community and not be scared to join in. So for that, I'm forever grateful and I love the bones off that man. Now the last person I've left till last is a very special person in my life. And that person is Mr. Starlight Glimmer. Now, Starlight, as you know, we've done countless videos together. And we dig at one another. We fight, you know, we laugh, we cry. But at the end of the day, I, even though he lives in Australia, quite literally the opposite side of the planet for me, I consider him the brother that I never had because he is quite literally my best friend the m m most person who gets me for me and I wouldn't change him at all at all I would honestly he's just He's the person that you find that you can do anything with and he'll take you as you come. Don't get me wrong, his humour isn't for everyone, but then again, neither is mine. So, for that, I'm eternally grateful to my pony brother and my adopted brother, well, friendship-wise anyway, Mr Starlight Glimmer. Now, apologies if I haven't got you this because I've been rambling on for like 15 minutes alone on my own list but I will say this now if you've made it to this far I'm sorry if I haven't named you off the top of my head because there's people that I don't know are even happy being on film so that's why I've not mentioned them in this right but all these people I've mentioned and anyone watching I implore you and I encourage you Send a message to all the people that you can, that you haven't spoken to in a while or you speak to every day. Ask them if they're all right. Ask how they're doing and just let them know how special they actually are to you. Because if you don't, there actually is a small chance that you won't be able to do that again. And that is the sad reality of it. But no, I beg of you here make your own lists make your own videos of this call it project reach out link it back to me so that i can see all your responses and all the people that are special in your lives and we can build this spider web of basically love and compassion during these horrible times of crippling loneliness but anyway thank you all so very much for listening to me ramble on and if you like this video just like it share it with as many people as you can make them take part in this project because this project will help those people who feel alone and to me there's no better reason to do that than that but anyway i've been your host mr gage please take part in project reach out and i will see you in the next video whatever that may well be Bye-bye.